Hey, Andy. Hey. What are you doing? Well, I'm moving the chickens to a fresh spot. Oh. Good morning, chickens. Well, that's quite a lot of chickens. Yeah. How many chickens is that? There's, uh, well, we started with a little over 100. We've lost a handful of them, so we're probably around 96. Mm -hmm. 95 or 96. Wow. Yeah. Fancy chicken house. Yeah. This came from a design from uh, Robert Plomenden, who's uh, got a book on chicken shelters and raising pastured poultry. And then I did some modifications to it. But the frame is a pretty basic wooden box. It's an eight by eight wooden square with two cattle panels that you can get from Tractor Supply or, you know, somewhere like that. Bent over in a hoop. This one's maybe a little easier to see. Bent over in a hoop and stapled to the side. And then we also took another cattle panel and cut it in half. So three cattle panels makes this whole chicken shelter closable. And then maybe uh, four or five two by fours. Um, to make the frame when you can count the angle braces and all that. And then uh, the moving part of it, and this was a recent modification, we've got some wheels on the end of some metal, uh, you know, some metal, uh, long metal pieces that then hook on. Ah, oh, so it like picks it up off the ground exactly. now. So it levers it up off the ground. Wow. So that then you're able to lower it once you get it into place. And the chickens theoretically can't get out. This is in an uneven spot. And... So they got out. So then like one person can move this. Yes. One person mostly can move it. If you have to go uphill. We usually like to start them, like, get everybody on board to move them uphill yeah. and pull them downhill. It's a lot easier. But mostly, one person can do it. Wow. Yeah. First, we got to get the feeders in the water. It's a little bit different than the Joel Salatin style pens. The main thing that I like better about it is that his pens are like, you know, they stop here. Right. They're, they're low pens. And this one, you know, I can get in and, um, especially when the chickens get bigger, we'll, we'll actually won't close it up at night once they get bigger. Um, but when they get bigger and we pen them in there, uh, you know, before slaughter, it's, it just feels better than having them all penned into a low shelter. Right, they just got more space in there. Yeah. So then we're just going to... Good morning, chickens. Slowly pull it because there's always one or two that like to peck at the wheel and see what's going on not quite get with the program. I haven't electrified the netting yet either, so they're all getting out. So how often do you move it when they're this small? Ideally, we move it once a day. Once a day. So mm -hmm. one space. Or else you get manure buildup in the right. one area. And we're trying to spread the manure across the entire field. That's the boy dog. He was up last night barking at coyotes. That's how you protect the, the chickens? With the dog. Pretty awesome. Right, and so then we lower it. 
And the wheels is like, you know, old lawnmower wheels really work the best. And then you've got to be a little crafty to figure out, uh, you know, some, some piece of metal that's laying around the farm or, um, and this one I call the ultralight. It's not necessarily designed to keep them in. It's more designed for shade and, um, and keeping feed dry. Whoa. Yeah. And so that one is really, yeah, easy to move. <clears throat> How and long have get, you been farming chickens? Uh, I've been farming chickens. I actually did our first batch in this field in one of these shelters um, 15 years ago. And I've been raising broiler chickens as few as 50 a year, as many as uh, 150 a year uh, since. Yeah, 2006, I think. I went to a workshop down the road on raising pastured poultry and I picked up this book that had a design in it and ran with it. All right. Yeah. Thanks for showing it to us. Yeah.